after the management of the KNUST announced the suspension of the university's end of semester examinations following the strike by UTAG, students say their stay on campus has become difficult. Life on campus has become somehow, and we don't know what to do. You just wake up, you're in your room. When child learning, they are like, you're not going to write the exams, then. <laughs> Like, it has become messy, yeah, and we don't go for class. Some of us were not able to complete what we had to learn, yeah, but yes, so if they are like, we are coming to write the exams next week, we will surely write it because we don't have any say. Life on campus, campus is very boring. It's very messy because we came here with a budget thinking that we are going to graduate, we are going to go home on 20th, and now we don't have any hope. Because there's some crime, we don't know where you are going to write it. Thinking of going home. So, like, there is no hope. There is no hope. At the moment, each and every individual on campus is kind of confused. But right now, we don't know what to do. Although we are learning, but then we don't know whether the results will come out. And most of us would like to go home. And as at the moment, no directive from the authorities. So we don't know what to do. Most of the students who live in Kumase and the Ashanti region have left the campus, although that decision has not been sanctioned by the university's management. Others who live outside the region say they are awaiting a directive from management before they can vacate the campus. As any campus, most of the people are also going home, yes. Majority of them are already in their houses already, yeah. So why is it here? Okay, looking at where we, some of us are coming from, the distance from the school and our home. So when you go home and there's a sudden change of mind for us to come back and write the exam, it's going to be a difficult and a tough time for us. That's why some of us are still here. I decided to go. It will be very difficult for me to return because I stay far away from campus. And so for me to go, I'd have to receive a formal announcement from the school that the school is indeed closing and I would have permitted to go and then come back later to write the exams if need be. So that would be my basis for going home. And if that doesn't happen, I'll just have to stay here and wait for something to happen from Utah. If hopefully they can return to the classroom or something. We are under authorities and whatever they will say is what we are going to obey or what you are going to follow. So we cannot decide on our own that we will go home and then what if we go and then they decide that we ride the airs on? That means, should, does that mean that we should come back and then it's a whole lot. It's a risk of taking car, uh, transportation. It's a whole lot. So we have decided to stay on campus and then see what, what is going to happen in the near future. The students have been reiterating their appeal to the government to address the concerns of the striking lecturers. I'm appealing to the government to address the concerns of the lecturers because right now um, what is going on is, is really undesirable. And so, I hope the government addresses them and settles their grievances so that they can return to the classroom as soon as possible. Oh, the government should at least listen to them so that they can also resume their work. Because Ghana, the country itself is some way and lecturers have gone on strike. How, like, how, do, it, how do they expect things to go, you see? So I'm praying that the government will do something about it here. Praying to the government to see to it that everything goes very fast because we are the ones suffering. We, are, we the students are the ones suffering. Now we have to prolong our studies. Because of the coronavirus, when we came, everything was impacted. No break for the second semester. And now that the, the studies and the time table also have been prolonged. It's really affecting us and it's really... It's very stressful. While some students are still visiting the library to continue with their studies, others are engaging in other activities. Students at the KNUST are still bearing the brand of the strike by their lectures, but management of the university is yet to take a decision on whether or not to allow the students to go home as the strike continues. From KNUST, Hafiz Tijani, for City News.